From a shuffled deck, the spectator selects a totally random card. With that card well and truly lost in the deck, you attempt to find it and you resort to the magic of spelling in order to locate one single card. That card is then revealed to be none other than the spectator's selected card. This is a mind-bending spelling effect. This is Coach Trick. Hi everyone and welcome to another amazing and inspiring tutorial. Today's trick is so clever, I'm not even sure I know exactly how it works. But work, it does. Besides delivering an inexplicable spelling effect, this trick is also an absolute cinch to perform. It can be done with a shuffle deck and requires no prior setup. So join me as we spell out the magic step by step. As ever, be sure to stick with us until the end as we uncover the secrets to this miracle and also reflect on the benefits that learning magic can bring to all areas of life. Okay, let's jump into the magic. Grab a deck and let's go. Okay, as ever, let's kick start by taking a look at the effect itself. This is going to be a remarkable revelation, harnessing the magic of spelling. And you're going to start with a shuffle deck. So just hand the deck to a spectator, ask them to give that the shuffle. They can shuffle it as much as they like. The cards really are mixed. Now, once they've done that, you're going to ask the spectator to think of a number between one and 10, any number they like. It's a free choice, not to tell you the number, but just to think of a number. They can change their mind multiple times. It's really up to them. Let's say in this instance, they're thinking of the number five. You're going to give the deck to the spectator and you're going to turn away so you can't see anything that's going on. And you're going to ask the spectator to quietly deal two piles of cards to the table consisting of the number they're thinking of. So in this instance, they're going to deal two piles of five cards, just like so. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, once they've done that, you're going to ask them to select one of the piles. Again, it's a totally free choice. Let's say they select this pile just here. Ask them to take a look at the bottom card of that pile. So we can see here, it's the Queen of Hearts. That's going to be their selected card. And then to place that pile back on top of the deck, and then to take the other pile of cards and to keep that hidden and to themselves on the side. At this point, you can turn back around. The spectator has now selected a card and there's no way that you can know what that card is or where that card is. But you're now going to try to find that card without even looking. You're going to take the deck and place it behind your back and you're going to try to tune in to the spectator's card. So ask them to name their card. In this instance, obviously it's the Queen of Hearts. So you're just going to try to tune in to the Queen of Hearts. I think yeah, it's, this is actually quite a tricky one, but once you think you've got the card, you're going to bring the deck back out to the front. Now, you're going to explain that you think the spectator's card is now on top of the deck. So let's take a look. The top card, the three of clubs. Now that is obviously nowhere near the queen of hearts. Like I said, this was quite a tricky one. So we're nowhere near with that. But I think actually what might be going on here is that we haven't got a complete deck. And I think that's putting me off slightly because remember the spectator is still hiding a secret number of cards over here. So as you look away again, just ask the spectator to return the rest of their cards to the top of the deck and you can turn back around and explain exactly where we are. The spectator selected card, the Queen of Hearts, is still somewhere in this deck and there's no way that you can know exactly where. But there is actually something we can try. Sometimes in situations like this, spelling the card can actually help find the card. 
So just ask the spectator to remind us of their card. Obviously, it's the Queen of Hearts. Let's just spell that from the top of the deck. Q-U-E-E-N-O-F-H-E-A-R-T-S. That leads us to a single card. Again, ask the spectator to remind us of their card. It is, of course, the Queen of Hearts. And you can reveal the miracle that this card right here is indeed the Queen of Hearts. Okay, so let's take a look at the secret to this clever spelling miracle. We're going to start with a shuffle deck. The spectator really can shuffle the cards as much as they like. They really are mixed. You'll then ask the spectator to think of a number between one and 10, any number they like. Let's say in this instance, they think of the number six. As you turn away, they're now going to deal two piles of six cards to the table. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're now going to ask them to select one of those piles. And again, it's a totally free choice. Let's say they go for this one here. Ask them to look at the bottom card of that pile. And that would be their selected card. So we can see here it's the two of clubs. Ask them to place that pile as it is back on top of the deck and then to keep the other pile for themselves. You can now turn back around to the table and you're going to take the deck and you're going to say you're going to place it behind your back in order to try to find the selected card. But here's what you're actually going to do. As you place the deck behind your back, ask the spectator to name their card. So in this instance, the two of clubs. And you're going to pretend you're trying to tune in on the card, but you're actually secretly going to spell it out from the top of the deck. So the two of clubs, letter by letter, T, then take the next card and place it on top, W, O, and you're just going to complete that for the entire card. O, F, C, L, U, B, S, the two of clubs. Once you've completed the spelling, take this pack here, place it back on top of the deck, and then you can bring the deck back out to the front. You can now reveal the top card of the deck, which you think might be the spectator's card. Show that card. In this instance, well, it obviously isn't going to be. So just take this card now and place it somewhere back into the deck. Explain that you might be slightly out of tune because the deck isn't complete. So ask the spectator just to place their other pack now on top of the deck, like so. You can now spell out the spectator's card from the top of the deck. So the two of clubs, T-W-O-O-F-C-L-U-B-S, taking the last card and placing it to the side. All that's left to do now is to reveal the miracle that this card right here is indeed the spectator's selected card, the two of clubs. And there you have it, an incredible effect that I know you'll enjoy performing. Just like this trick where focus and practice lead to an amazing effect, remember that you can achieve incredible things with the same dedication in any area of life. So no matter what your goal, keep believing in your potential, keep on practicing, keep stepping forwards, never give up and you can achieve truly magical results of your own. Thanks for joining me today. Until next time, keep the magic alive and take care.